You may think our spring warm up would be cheering people up, and that is often the case. But in the past two days, Fargo police have also responded to more than 10 calls for service involving suicidal individuals. Valley News Team's Reed Gregory shows us why that's not uncommon this time of year. But first, we want to warn you this story covers the topic of suicide, and some parts are emotional. It's a call first responders are all too familiar with. 911, where's your emergency? Please, it's somebody else. And sir, what's the emergency? I'm sorry? I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself. It's pretty stressful. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we get somebody there. There's an emergency call for us. We're running red lights. We're running sirens. With the onset of spring, mental health crisis calls are increasing in many parts of the country. And according to local officials, people often struggle with the transition from winter to spring especially those who are prone to seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD. People are reporting the effects of this long winter that we've had, and a lot of that has to do with our lifestyles. Not being as active, not eating as healthy, not being exposed to light and color, and all of these things can definitely impact our mood. As law enforcement still adapts to the changing mental health landscape, some say the push for further training is one that is necessary. I think we never received mental health training back in the day, uh, but we have to have that training now, whether that's in a home, it's on the roadside, it's in a school, whatever it might be, as law enforcement is involved a lot. So we have to have the training to be able to understand exactly when we get to that scene, how to approach it. While it's easy to feel down and overwhelmed, experts want to remind those struggling that they are not alone. It's really important to understand that you're not alone. Help is available through medication management, through therapy, through lifestyle changes that might be able to point you in the right direction and get you feeling better. Reporting in Fargo, Reed Gregory, Valley News Live. If you or anyone you know needs help, call 988, the crisis hotline, get help immediately.